Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I've started without you <laughs> because I didn't expect to love this stencil as much as I loved it. So I wanted to share it with you. I've already stenciled and die cut out this pine branch and this layering stencil just completely caught me off guard. I, I really loved it. So I wanted to show you how easy it is and I made four cards in one short card making session. And so I thought this would be a perfect Christmas card for making multiples if you wanted to. I'm starting with this first stencil. Now these stencils are from the ton and they are numbered with numbers and also they give you a guide on how to use them. But it's pretty simple to line up and pretty easy to follow. I started with a lighter green, a lighter shade of green, and now I'm putting on the second stencil with a darker shade of green. I'm using my Bitty Blending Brushes, which are some of my very favorites for smaller stencils like this, especially when you don't want to get over the edge of the stencil. So this darker green, and look at how this turns out with that layering. So pretty. Now you'll put the branch layer on. And for this one, of course, I'm just gonna use some browns and ink that on very quickly. I'm using Distress Ink for this layer in Vintage Photo, and again, using my favorite Bitty Blender. So, such a great tool. And look how fast this is. So we've already done, this is the third layer. Next, we're gonna add the berry layer. And you can see there are spots left for this berry layer, which has three different sections to it. The first section we're gonna add is the berry layer itself. So these are all the round ones and they fit right in between those branches. You can really tell where it goes once you layer on that branch. And then you'll shift it to the bottom portion, which adds an even darker layer of color. So I'm using Lumberjack plaid for this one that's a darker red than the first red which I used was festive berries and then in the center there are the little dots at the end of each of the berries for this one I think I'm using black soot or hickory smoke yes hickory smoke but you could use any color you wanted to and look at that here are the results now I thought for this layer I'm going to put this layer back on and I thought it'd be fun to add some glitter so I've got three different options here. I decided to go with my Glitz Glitter Gel because it's the brightest red that I had. And I'm just going to layer that right over that this berries portion that adds a little bit of shadow. It looks so pretty with glitter. I think Christmas cards should all have glitter. <laughs> I hope you can see that. It looks really cool in real life. Now I'm gonna wait for that to completely dry before die cutting that out. So I might as well try some with some darker green colors. Here I've started with Evergreen Bow Distress Ink. Now I'm gonna layer on some Rustic Wilderness, which is a darker green even than that. And that's gonna really create a pine branch look. So I like the darker green I think was my favorite. Just wait till you see how this turns out. So pretty. I'm just gonna add the darker layer and it's super easy to do. I'm using my regular blending brushes now for the Distress Ink, but look at that. So pretty, beautiful. Now the rest I'm gonna do rather quickly. I'm gonna add that branch yet again, and then I'll add some berries, but this time let's do a different color of berry. I wanted to do some bright purple berries. Look at that vibrancy, so gorgeous. And if you don't have a darker shade, you can always do the same color that you did and then add an additional layer of it and it will darken it up. So no worries there. And then I'm gonna add those little tiny dots to the centers again and the ends of each berry with some black. And that's gonna be beautiful. For my last one, I decided to do some blue colored berries. And so I'm gonna use some speckled egg which is a beautiful light blue ink. And then on top of that, I'll add some Stormy Sea for the dark parts of that berry. And I decided not to do any of the inside dots, but I think a, a blue dot would be pretty on these as well. So look at that. 
So we have lots of panels already done. I'm going to die cut all these out and I'm going to put them on some embossing folder backgrounds. These look gorgeous on embossed backgrounds and I'm stamping out this stamp set also from the ton. It's a Christmas sentiments stamp set and I did a variety of colors and there is a matching die to cut them all out, which is perfect for this project. I love stamping a whole bunch and cutting them all out at once. So this is a perfect die for mul making multiple cards. And look here, I did a couple shades of green and that same purple color that I did those berries on. Here's my first embossing folder. I used that wood grain folder. It's gorgeous. I'm just going to attach that and then add one of my pine branch leaves to it with a sentiment. And that's what we're going to use as the design for all four of these cards. I'm going to use different embossing folders, different colors of pine branches, and different colors of sentiments. Now, another great thing about having a die for your stencil is you can cut a variety of layers, which I did here. I layered it up three times to give this card even more dimension. So those, it's gonna just pop right off the background. I'll add the sentiment and that pine branch with some liquid adhesive, and that's gonna finish off this card. So I'm gonna do that same thing to the rest of mine. I'll show you the different embossing folders I used. For this blue one, I used a snowflake embossing folder background, which is gorgeous. I think I've had this embossing folder for a good 15 years. <laughs> I don't even know where I got it. But hopefully you have some options in your stash. I think a snowflake background is gorgeous for a card like this. And I'll just add the happy holidays, wishing you happy holidays for this one in some dark green ink. And I think that looks perfect with the blue, light blue berries. I'll just add that just like this. I am going to cut off anything that hangs off over the edge of each of these. For this one, I'm using a diamond embossing folder. This is a beautiful geometric background, and I think it also looks gorgeous. I'll do the sending joy and cheer sentiment for this one in the lighter shade of green. And then the purple one, I used an even different embossing folder. This one is a swirly embossing folder. It's also gorgeous. I love all of these. So it's fun to create kind of a same design using different products, different backgrounds, and different sentiments. But it's very, very quick. So you could see how fast this was. I did all the stenciling at first, at once, all the die cutting, then stamped all the sentiments, and then put them all together at the same time. Pretty quick. So now I'm just cutting off the excess that goes over the edge, and I find the easiest way to do this is to turn them over and cut from the back side. And that's gonna be all of our cards today. Look at how beautiful all four of these turned out. And like I said, it was really, really fast. I love that wood grain, look at that. You could also add some more glitter to these. This one has the glitter on the berries already, so you really don't need any additional glitter, but you could add sequins, glitter, gems, whatever you want but gorgeous with those embossing folder backgrounds. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I did want to share it with you because as I say, I started making these and then I'm like, oh, I need to, I need to talk about this. I need to show this. So here you go. And also I am in an Instagram hop today sharing these cards as well. So you can go over and get a lot more inspiration with some of the layering stencils that the ton has to offer. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All these things really help me out with YouTube. I hope you're having a great season. If you're starting on your Christmas cards, I want to hear about it. How are you doing it? And how many do you have to make? <laughs> I'll see you real soon with more cards. Bye-bye.